All right, we're gonna do a little bit of rearranging in the greenhouse today. We're gonna take the uh, veggie pod here and hopefully be able to turn it this way so that it's getting more sunlight than it is right now. Um, Casey had pointed out that a lot of the plants are kind of um, leaning towards the sun and it's shaded back in this area. So we're gonna see if we can turn this first off and then we'll, uh, we'll start going from there. Today I'm also gonna talk about taking care of thrips in the greenhouse. I'm going to show you what the damage looks like, what they look like, and what we use to keep them under control this time of year in the greenhouse. And as you can see, the veggie pod is really taking off. It's been really easy to start growing fresh food in the greenhouse because of this. It acts as such an awesome raised bed. We're going to attempt to move this thing. I was worried that wasn't going to work. Well, I almost it's, didn't. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> All right, cool. As you can see, the potatoes have grown pretty large here. And we're going to keep them covered because then that helps them produce even more potatoes. And this is going to be a great job for Sayla. Here you go, Sayla. A potato? Yeah. Sayla, you ready? This is your job, okay? Here you go. I'm going to go get my scooper. Her scooper. <laughs> Were you going to hand that to her and let her drop it? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. As he's wearing his best dad ever t-shirt. <laughs> I think that should keep her busy for a while, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Good job, Sayla. All right, so we're gonna trellis these beans. We're gonna use some of the leftover stuff that we did with the uh, the table. So we've got the vinyl, vinyl lattice. We're gonna cut sections of it so that we can put it into the dirt. We'll support it with a stick here, and then we'll just do one section going all the way down the line, and that should work. And it's black, so it matches the uh, the veggie pod. Win-win. The girls are having a sleepover tonight. At Grandma Karen's, Casey and I are going out for our 11 year anniversary. So we're gonna drop them off later today and then we're gonna have some fun. Sayla, be kind to the plants. They're living. <laughs> well, I received my very own package in the mail. My first uh, product that's that's been sent to me. It's from Firm Grip. So they're gonna send some, they do work gloves. Let's see what uh, let's see what they sent here. Sailor, you want to take that out? Bubble wrap for her. Wow, love it. Yeah. Got a shirt. These are nice gloves, and I really needed a new pair of gloves. In fact, the last pair of work gloves that I bought was probably like three, four years ago, and they got holes in them and measuring and marking. Oh boy, I like these, the leather ones. Wow, I don't think I'll ever have to buy work gloves again. Thank you so much, Firm Grip. I really, really appreciate this. They're going to get great use. Jason just made this little DIY trellis out of old material. And we're just kind of putting it right into the dirt there. We don't have to worry about the outside elements like wind to blow it over, so it should work perfectly. Sayla, no putting the dowels through the plastic. <laughs> do not do that. Do not do that. And Sayla, you didn't finish your job over here. Come on, Sayla, you're slacking. Come on. So now this is the third trellis we're getting in there, and then that'll be nicer. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. It was nice we had some of this leftover stuff here. Yeah. Uh, Sayla gave up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Get it or done. done. Well, I'm gonna stop doing it the hard way. We're just gonna dump some in here. That's right. Pile it on in there. Yeah. Hey, hon, do you have a, um, an extra scrap piece of a two by four? I do, yep. Yeah. Because I, um, 
I think it would be nice to put one right here so that way it would separate the potatoes from the rest of the variety. Yeah. That way we can fill it up a little bit more all the way along. That's a good there. idea. Yep. I'll get one cut up. Okay, thanks. So I'm over here just uh, playing with the herbs right now because um, they smell so amazing. So we've got the fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. mm. Nothing smells better or tastes better than anything homegrown. So we've got the cilantro. We've got the bouquet dill. Oh, the dill smells like oh, summertime. Smell that dill. Okay. Oh, that's parsley. Mm. Mm. Smells like my grandma's homemade rice balls. Yum, yum. Here. Thanks, son. Yeah, All no right. problem. Now, uh, just gonna put it right in here. Let's see if Jason did a good job. And it's perfect. All right. Awesome. Thanks, hon. <laughs> no problem. So now, having the board here allows me to get more dirt in there right up to the last edge of the potato. There we go. Well, good thing we left a good amount of space on top. Yeah. Too, for more dirt. Perfect. Yep. But if I had these in the ground, or in a raised bed, I just keep mounding the soil and then um, that helps them produce more. And then I'm just adding some extra dirt in the low spots from where we added the rows. And everything's getting pretty dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and water it. I never water super heavy this time of year because our days still are a little bit shorter here in Wisconsin. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and water, show you how I do it. I turn the pressure down low I try to stay underneath the foliage a little bit. Sorry, Sela. <laughs> so I'm watering these a little heavier just because uh, we just added a lot of new soil on top and they were already drier underneath. Well, there's no moving it now, Jason. No. <laughs> the peas and herbs are dry, so I'm just gonna go through and get those all watered nice. Well, now we're gonna go ahead and talk about bad bugs because we've got some thrips on our beans. Beans seem to always be the most prone to the thrips in the greenhouse. As you can see, they are super small and tiny and um, it's very hard to see them. You can find them most of the time underneath the leaf. This is what their stress does to a plant. This is what it looks like. So anytime you start seeing your leaves get discoloration and start curling, and look kind of veiny, um, that's when you know you've got thrips. So always turn the leaf over and check it out. All right, so today I'm going to get rid of those thrip. We've had thrip in the greenhouse already on some of our newly seeded beans in these pots, um, along with a couple of our zinnias. And I got rid of them after two treatments while using the Monterey, it's for organic gardening. We're gonna show you how we mix it up and use it. So I just have a small little spray bottle, 16 ounces. Okay. First we're gonna go ahead and shake the Monterey. Get it shaken up. All right, got that shaken up. So now we're gonna go ahead and add about a teaspoon of the Monterey. I eyeball, you can measure. Whatever works best for you. And then we're going to go ahead and add some water to that. Okay. All right, we got ourselves a mixture. Be sure to give it a good little shake before you go out there and take care of those little thrips. So here's my beans that I'm going to treat. And what I'm going to do first is push them back a little bit and try to get all of the underneath foliage first. Spray it on the top. You want to make sure your plant is almost dripping once you're done. And then in three days, I go and do this treatment again. And then after that, we'll check, see what's going on with those bugs. All right, I'm coming in over here now. <laughs> Got to sneak in by this banana tree here. All right, so we're going to go in. We're going to spray underneath. Spray on top. We'll have to spray the peas as well. I can see some, um, some damage starting there, mainly because they're right next to the beans here. The best time to spray when you're using this in your gardens is at the end of the day. 
So now we'll just keep our eyes on the on these leaves and see if that really helps with the thrip on here. Well, that feels like a good day in the garden. Looks nice, doesn't it? It does, it looks really good. Well, Lana came out to join us. Hello! Oh, the whole fam's out here yeah. now. Now it's time to have some fun. Mm -hmm. Lana, what do you think of your cat grass? Look how huge it got. Here. When did you see that? Wasn't that just like it was when last week? Came over. Well, it looks like these zinnias are just about ready to be potted up. Well, maybe not just about ready. I think they're ready. There you go, Fuzzy. Aw. The fun thing about this greenhouse, there's always something that we can improve upon and kind of customize with it. So we've got this area here that we really don't want to see. And we're going to put some shelving in there for some of this stuff. But we've got this panel here that's just kind of been leaning up against here for a while. So I cut a notch in it. That way we can move it all the way flush up against to the wall here. And then I'll cut it here even eventually we'll paint it black <laughs> and then that'll secure the uh, the side here and we can do shelves underneath yeah i can't wait to have shelves underneath so that way you don't see all of this stuff here yeah. we can get you know a, a couple of nice deep shelves in here that mm -hmm. we can put everything on and it'll just make it feel nice and neat and organized yeah. so yeah then we can finally move all of the plastic pots and trays over to these shelves as well. 